Hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel I hope you guys are doing well so today I am going to show you how you can make the that kind of abstract flower using the blender so without any further delay let's get started so before starting that uh, tutorial I just want to show you which modifier I use in this uh, uh, making this flower so here you can see here is my modifier stack and here I use array solidify cast modifier and subdips okay guys so before starting this tutorial before starting this modeling we need to enable one add-on also I will go to the edit preference and here I will search the extra and here will if I will uh, wrote ex you will get the uh, uh, that modifier is an extra object I will just check it and don't forget guys to save preference and after that what I will I do I'll just select everything press a and delete everything after that I will add the object I will click shift a and go to the mesh and here is a math function and I will go to the regular solid and here when I will click the regular solid here you can see here is a one kind of triangular shape so I will go to that preset option and I will change to custom the that so we will get that kind of spare shape here so if I will go to the tab mode so here you can see here is a unwanted edges we don't want these so what I will do first I will enable the wireframe here from the here and we can see easily and after that what I will do I will go to modifier modifier and I will add the one modifier decimate and I will click that planar when I click the planar these unwanted lines and edges are removed then I will click the apply after that I will go to the edit mode and I will select that from the here and you can also select the three one for vertex two for edge and three for faces so and I will select the all press the A and after that what I will do I will click uh, I will uh, press alt E so where and uh, when I will press the alt E here is one option extrude individual faces so when I will do these faces I will extrude like that yeah guys up like that and you can see then after that I will exit from that uh, edit mode and I will go to the modify tag stack and here I will uh, add the that subdip modifier so when I add it so here you can see what happened okay then after that I will go to the edit mode I will select two two four edges and I will select all edges a and after that I will press the N and I will go to the uh, that item option and here you can see here is a main crease so when I will increase this so you can see guys like that yeah this is fine now and after that I will exit from the edit mode and after that what I will do I will add the one modifier cast modifier and here you can see the magic so when I will increase that factor you can see you get that kind of shape if I will decrease that you will get that kind of shape so I will increase that full and after that what I will do I will increase that also viewport and I will uh, add one more add, uh, modifier for that thickness that is solidify so here you can see that is activated and I will try to yeah like that so what I will do I will increase that view photo and I will right click I will select the object and right click shade smooth yeah guys here you can see that flower is ready almost ready I will close the all tab and after that what I will do 
first I will add the material in that so I will go to the tab mode and I will press the 3 for the faces and I will select the face I will click and shift G and here is the area and again I will click that and shift G here is the area and after that I will go to the material panel and here I will put the material touch okay wait yeah I will assign new material after that and I will press that so here you can see I place the material and when I exit that you will get that kind of materials then after that what I will do I will add the plane shift A and increase it and uh, go to the tab mode and I will make the floor that kind of RAM like that and I will add the same add subdivision modifier here also and I will go to tab and here is the edge loop and I will go and do like that do like that after that I will increase the viewport amount and after that I will click the object and shade smooth ok guys then I will inc that like that ok then I will add one empathy that is empathy spare And I will add the also array modifier in that. Something like that. I will decrease that viewport visibility and then I will go to the array option here is the object offset I will click that empty so when I click that empty you can see kind of like that and I will click one like that and I will increase that distance also kind of like that here okay, guys and I will increase that ramp size like that and I will edit that empty also like that and I will put the material also in yes after that I will add the camera here is a camera I will click the control alt 0 and here is my camera view is activated I will set the camera 
I will increase the RAM also and here I will add the HDRI and when I will go to the edit mode so you can see it's looking nice and guys if you want to know how to color correction the render images so you can see my that video and I'll just hit the render but before I'm hitting the render make sure you increase that render amount to both of the subdivision here you can decrease the viewport it's okay but make sure you increase that and after that I will press the render so when I press the render you will see like that so that's it for this tutorial guys I hope you will learn something in this video if you learn something in this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you have any queries if you have any, any suggestions please let me know in the comment box I always love to read your comments thank you Bye-bye.